Jewish journalist who infiltrated Iran. Atheist Republic interviews. Iran is shaken by a scandal involving a Jewish journalist who had an interview with then-presidential candidate Ibrahim Raisi. According to an article published by Iran International, Catherine Shakdam, a French Jewish writer and commentator, quote-unquote, infiltrated Iran. In 2021, Shakdam published a story in the Times of Israel about her 2017 interview with the current president of Iran, Ibrahim Raisi. At the time, Shakdam had... Uh, converted to Shia Islam, and Raisi was running for the presidency in the previous election cycle, when she, quote, ended up where few Jews were ever allowed to enter. She explained that she was introduced to Raisi, quote, by one of the main propagandists of the Islamic revolution. Iran's strict rules towards foreign journalists, especially female journalists, were overturned by the propagandist's vote of confidence, Shakhtam added. She described Iran as a, quote, unwelcoming place for the Jewish people and compared her visit to walk to, quote, walking right into the belly of the beast. The scandal with Shakdam's alleged infiltration has caused several high ranking Iranian officials to deny being in contact with her. Atheist Republic was recently granted a special interview with Catherine Shakdam as Atheist Republic's founder, Armin Navabi, actually met Shakdam in person several years prior when she was still a Muslim. Shakdam disclosed during the Atheist Republic interview that she was somehow accused of spying for both Iran and Israel, and that she believes that the parties accusing her of being a spy, quote, do not believe their own story. Quote, all these competing powers are basically using me as ammunition, she added. Wait, you didn't include... Okay, so this is very nice, so I don't want to complain. Very, very, very good. Okay, so I want to don't come up because I'm grateful. But can we please add to this article the part of the interview where she added that I had an, I had an influence in, in making her... An, <laughs> in her atheism in you know to go for okay so apparently i you know planted seeds of doubts uh, when i met her in london when she was like full-on shia and she credited me in this interview into eventually for her to become an atheist okay so yeah go watch the interview guys yeah the interview is on the secular jihadist channel and what should people search for on the Secular Jihadist channel to be able to find this? Basically the same title, just the Jewish journalist who infiltrated Iran, Secular Jihadists. Yeah. So this is the interview. Look at this. So I'm just going to mute it. But yeah, this is me, uh, Susanna, and Catherine talking for about two hours. It was very exciting. Like people, you look at the, go to read the comments, people were fascinated by her story right but she went like she went all the way up like she met face to face with Khamenei himself like that's how far she managed to get right and as a Jewish woman that's unbelievable that's amazing and there's a whole bunch of conspiracy theories by the way around um, her story and people are accusing of, of all sort of all sorts of baseless things but if you want to see all the details like watch the interview and also she's going to have a book out soon about all her experiences this is like a this is like a movie experience you know what i mean like mm -hmm. this this needs to be turned into a movie but yeah guys go watch that interview it's very interesting well Aaron, for those who are not familiar with like the story and like i think for an audience outside of Iran, we really don't have a perspective on how much controversy and scandal this kicked up. Like this oh, yeah. was a huge thing. So can you give people more context about that and the specifics of the conspiracy theories? Well, this was very, very embarrassing because like, so she was one of, you know, she was given access to, like she, she was being used for propaganda because like she is a, white woman who converted to Shia Islam and was a defender of the Islamic Republic of Iran. So it was a very, uh, this is something that the Islamic Republic really likes to use as propaganda, right? So she was given information to publish in her name. She was publishing articles on Khamenei's own website. 
Um, and, you know, this is like a bragging right for Islamic Republic of Iran. But then all of a sudden she coming out and saying, like, these people are dangerous. These people are anti-Semitic. These people are anti-woman. She left. Um, she not only turned against Islamic Republic, uh, she left Islam as a whole. She basically gave up on Islam as a religion that is she recognized as extremely anti-woman. And she published all of these on uh, Israeli <laughs> publication. Right. So, like. She's like 180 degree. So it was, it, it, this became such drama on Iranian news and social media. People were covering this on Iranian media for for weeks trying to go over every single detail uh the islamic republic of iran was trying trying to do damage control to a lot of even even a lot of people who were pro the government pro government pro islamic republic were trying to figure out like this is embarrassing how could you let something like this happen how could somebody like this how could some a, a jewish person for, like they were being very anti-semitic about it right as well get so close to such high levels um they wanted to know whether or not there was this is where the minds go all the time was there any sexual relationship because maybe like this is how she did it um you know and this is how she managed to get all the way up making accusations like that against her because that's what the, the first thing these people think about right um but you know especially because they know how uh, deprived of sex are like these a lot of these people um in the government are right so they think like and she, i mean catherine checked them herself admitted that she was pursued multiple times proposed uh, for 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 exactly that right but by you know, mullahs for sex by mu <laughs> yeah i know like this is because of like oh my god we will never get another chance for yeah you know, you know i don't want to get into why because it's like very racist right um anyways so yeah, but this was major news. But I have to say, like, the people who are even anti uh, the Islamic Republic, they also were not nice about her. They had a whole bunch of conspiracy theories that were insane. So bro both the Islamic Republic, pro-Islamic Republic, and anti-Islamic Republic people, they both had, like, wild stories about what happened. And, like, neither side seemed to be believed. Like, I mean, they just come up with the craziest uh, stories. But anyways, if you want to know the details, just go watch that interview that we did with her that was very i think like i watched like multiple interviews that were done with her i think our like i saw bbc interview her i saw iran international interview her i honestly think like we did the best job like like they mm -hmm. were like editing it they were like trying to come up with their own narratives and they were had their specific agendas i think like we provided a platform where we just let her tell her story i think we did a good job at that our i really liked her interview with her like it was much more conversational um we weren't like making accusations towards her about anything but we also needed to address certain questions that specific like the persian audience would have that we needed to be addressed but um i really like talking to her like i i wanted to continue talking to her she's very smart has very good analysis of the region um and was quite friendly i was like oh i want to be friends with you <laughs> So recently something happened with their story, like she had another publication, um, she published another article, sorry, uh, she had published another article and we're going to bring her on back on Secular Jihadist to interview her again about that because that's very juicy. The uh, drama so continues, guys, and we will yes. be giving you wall-to-wall -wall coverage. <laughs> Yeah, and she confirmed that she will come back on Secular Jihadist. So subscribe to our Secular Jihadist YouTube channel to continue with that, uh, to see where this goes, right? Yeah. Um, so I put also, a link to watch the full interview, which I highly recommend in the live chat. Um, you can also find it in the article that we put on our website or on in YouTube, search Secular Jihadist, the Jewish journalist who infiltrated Iran, and you'll be able to find the full interview. Um, lots of people in the live chat are highly recommending it for viewing because it is juicy. Yeah. Um, somebody in the live chat is saying you should write a book how and how and why to be an atheist. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've already, I already done that. did. <laughs> yes, it's called Why There Is No God. Do I have a copy of it? You can, there you go. And you will get a free copy of this book if you subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description. Subscri so if you subscribe to Atheist Republic newsletter, you will get a free copy of Why There Is No God. Um, it's a bestseller and we're giving it away for free. All you have to do is subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description. All right. <laughs> okay, good. I like it when people ask for things that we have already done. 
No, you're muted. You're muted, Susan. Uh, oh, funny you should mention <laughs> that because I can meet your needs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.